Social apps are a dime a dozen on any mobile OS, but we're here to sift through them and find the best for you. I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and these are the top five social apps for Android. A large portion of mobile usage is social. Sure, a lot of gaming and multimedia consumption goes on, but let's not forget that these are primarily communication devices with entertainment capabilities on the side. So what are the social applications you should know about? Of course, the official applications are always a great place to start. Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Vine, etc. But it would be pointless to make a list of standard first-party applications you probably already know about. So we did some digging through Google Play to find the best third-party social apps for Android. These are our top five picks. Since I first tried Android, I've been on a never-ending search to find the perfect Twitter client. For me, it's the most engaging and fun social network out there. The fun is in the limitation, being forced to keep it brief. To date, I've been through dozens of Twitter clients for Android, and the only one I found myself coming back to is Plume, mainly because it's the most stable and reliable Twitter client I've come across on Android. A few contenders have arrived over the last year or so, like Falcon Pro, Carbon, Twitter, etc. Even Twicket and One Louder's Tweetcaster have a decent fan base, but in my experience, Plume has the best combination of additional features, aesthetics, and reliability. It's also great for managing multiple accounts. It's not the greatest Twitter client I've ever used, and had Falcon Pro not ran into issues with API token limits, it would have likely made the list in the place of Plume. But that's not the case, and Plume takes the cake. It's available for free, but to remove the ads you will have to cough up $4.99. Speaking of Twitter clients and not being able to leave Plume, I may have to recant that statement in the near future. I've recently been using an up-and-comer in the Android space, Talon for Twitter. It's sleek, beautiful, and packed with useful features, like an in-app browser emoji support and Talon Pool, the closest thing you're going to get to push notifications on Android from a third-party client. It's an always-on listener service which will notify you of the types of notifications you want to receive in real time. Talon has a robust theme engine with some built-in UI customizations to boot, and it also has many more features to tweak in the settings. The only reason this client hasn't completely replaced Plume yet is reliability. It's still very new and not all the issues have been resolved quite yet, but it's well on its way to becoming my favorite Twitter client for Android. It's currently only $1.99. Of course, a list of social apps wouldn't be complete without a Reddit client. On Android, I've tried a few and mostly I've been back and forth between Bacon Reader and Reddit Sync Pro. Note that both of these have ad-supported versions which are free and both premium ad-free options are $1.99. Ultimately, I chose Reddit Sync for the UI. It's simply gorgeous. It's also laid out better, making it easier to navigate and use. It's a fairly basic app, but it has several settings to tweak, including various UI customizations and other settings for Sync. If you're a Redditor, Reddit Sync Pro is easily one of, if not the best Reddit clients on Android. I've made videos about Buffer a few times now. What it does is rather simple, but if you want an easy way to manage multiple Twitter and Facebook accounts as well as Google Plus pages with post scheduling, Buffer is one of the best options out there. Essentially, you create a Buffer account and log into all the services you want to connect. From there, you can create various posting schedules for each account and begin buffering posts. From Chrome, Feedly, Plume, or wherever you find things to share, send them to Buffer, select which accounts you want to share to, and it takes care of the rest. I use Buffer each and every day to manage my own accounts as well as some Facebook and Google Plus pages I manage. On top of sharing, you get analytics from within Buffer. If you share a lot of links or manage more than one account, Buffer is a must-have. Not to mention the app is completely free, as well as the service, but if you need more features, you can upgrade to a pro account. Finally, Flipboard. It's an incredibly popular application for many reasons. It's not only a news reader, it's a social reader. Log into your social accounts and Flipboard will integrate all the RSS feeds you follow with your Facebook news feed, Twitter timeline, and Google Plus posts. And those are only a few of the accounts you can add to your Flipboard. Essentially, it lays out all your need-to-know information into a beautiful magazine format. You can also curate content into your own magazine for others to follow. Flipboard is also free of charge. Folks, that's going to do it. If we missed any of your favorite social apps for Android, be sure to drop them in a comment below, like the video to help us out and let us know you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel. Be sure to follow us in all the usual places, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus at Pocket Now. I'm Taylor Martin, you can find me on Twitter at Casper Tech, and I will see you next time.